All right, last little video update here. So this guy here is the Woodland Strawberry, Fragaria Vesca. If you guys watched any of my previous videos on strawberries, you probably know what this guy is. I've talked a lot about him. I've talked a lot about all my wild strawberries, actually. So this guy here is from up in Washington, and he's flowering now. He's been trying to flower for a while now, actually. Like this guy here, this is from, this one is from back in January, I wanna say. So we had that hard frost in January. This was a little bud sticking out of the plant at the time. We've got a little bit of frost damage on it, but the pollen section is still alive and healthy, it looks like. This guy here is completely, you know, alive, doing well. These guys usually survive most frosts, like last, not this last winter, but the winter before last, it didn't have any problems with any frost damage whatsoever. And, you know, all the flowers on it were just alive, doing good. Meanwhile, my modern garden strawberries, all the flowers that were, our, all the flower buds that were out during the uh, the light frost nights all died from they were, they all got damaged like this and then wouldn't produce strawberries. And I got this one over here, also Fragaria vesca from a different location from down in Oregon. And this guy is let's see if I can find any here. I saw some earlier. Just a little bit ago. Here we go. So I got, oh, there's a good one. I got all these flower buds coming up here. And this particular variety. So both of these guys, these aren't the only ones of the two that I have. So I've got a couple more of this guy around the area. And I got a couple more of that one around the area. And so as soon as the flowers are getting ready to start opening on those, what I need to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can't do it this weekend. But I'm going to be coming around and doing some breeding experiments with these. I want to cross these because these guys here are very, very strong, healthy. They produce a copious amount of flowers, like tons and tons of flowers, tons of really good fruit. But those guys over there, they produce a lot, a lot of flowers, but they don't taste good. They're not, they're not a particularly flavorful kind, and they uh on the flip side though is that they're ever bearing these ones produce one flush in in june or like like right now pretty much they ripen up in june and then they're done for the year but those guys just keep pumping out flowers so i want to get that flowering ability and the quality of these fruit mixed together so i'm going to try doing some breeding experiments with these guys so I'm going to take the ones that I have in my other locations. They're, they're isolated from each other. And they're smaller, so they're not going to produce as many fruit. And so I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more of a control experiment between the two. You can see my, uh, my Virginia strawberry here. This guy's been flowering since the start of February. Like, this, this one will not stop. This one was supposed to be June-bearing. For, for over a year it was June-bearing. But then last fall it just started... It just started dumping flowers out last fall, which is highly irregular. So we're gonna see um, how this guy develops. These are female-only flowers. It's kind of hard to tell because I don't really have the best uh, comparison out showing right now, but this guy here is a female-only flower. All you can see is that central bud there, right? A little cluster of yellow dots. If I come back over to this guy here, though, you'll be able to see that uh, on this guy here, you have the central cluster, but then you have all those little yellow kind of sticks popping up out of the sides. And each one will produce a different sort of length to them. But those are the stamens. Those are what produce the pollen. You need both to make fruit. So... This Virginia strawberry doesn't produce any pollen. This Virginia strawberry produces tons of pollen, and it's, it's 
doesn't look like it's in very good shape, but it's in a lot better shape than it's been for the past two years. I've been trying to get this guy back to health to propagate for two years now because it got overcrowded and almost died. And so I had to do a crown split and save just one of the smallest, weakest uh, crowns that I could find. And it's still kind of limping back to health. And it just refuses to produce runners now. They used to do. They used to produce a ton of runners. Now they won't do any. So I'm still trying to nurse this guy back to health so I can get some good runners off of it to have a fresh, clean start. These are the cleanest, nicest leaves I've seen on it in those two years. So I'm really, really holding out that this guy will start producing runners this year. But I've already crossed this one with this guy here. And it's really easy to do simply because there, there's no room for error, right? Pollen from one or from the other one onto this guy because this one can't self-pollinate. Right, there's, there's already a ton out, over there. So this, all of these flowers aren't going to produce any fruit because I don't have any pollen to share with them. The, the, the only other strawberry that I have that's compatible is the other one of these, and they're, they're, it's not compatible. That's the issue. Right? It's, a, it's another strawberry, but it's a different species. It's not compatible. But if I go over here, and I've shown you guys some videos of this in the past, and I've got tons of pictures up online too. These guys here, these are the crosses. These are the hybrids. And I wasn't able to get them to the proper size that I wanted to before winter just because of how slow they grow when they're from seed. It's, it's kind of crazy, but they are alive. They're doing well. They're producing good, healthy leaves, and it is a proper cross between the two. I know that for a fact because they are exhibiting growth characteristics of both parents, right? There's characteristics from the male parent, the, the pollen parent, that don't happen on the, the female, I guess you could say, parent, the, the one that produced the seed. So I know for a fact that these are hybrids. And I was hoping to get fruit off them this year, um, given that both of them are ever-bearing, the parent, that both the parents are ever-bearing, I'm, I'm holding out hope that maybe at some point this year we might get some. But it looks like for spring, the spring flush, we're not going to make it, unfortunately. But I'm really excited to kind of see what happens with it because I would love to have a nice strong productive wild strawberry so they're, they're just so delicious they really are but that's what I want to show you guys here with this video just a little um, breeding experiment update and I hope you enjoyed